Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a special reading session for you Taurus. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. This reading for today is Will They Reach Out? Tarot reading session for my Taurus friends. What can I get for Taurus? What is the message for Taurus please? Will their person of interest or the person they're manifesting will reach out? What is the message please for Taurus? Okay. Before I start Taurus, I want to thank you for your amazing support, your love your um subscribe your like and your views thank you thank you my friends um if you guys are wanting to further support my channel check the description box below because you'd see the details of my etsy store where you can purchase a private reading and um my instagram account it's also up there you can follow me it's more personal so check it out i have another two channel it's twilight tv and astro style tv we're working on putting a lot of contents for the may for the month of may so watch out and subscribe also there and um for guest viewers my friends if you haven't subscribed and you've been in and out my channel Please, I would really be happy, guys, if you join my team, you click the subscribe button, you click the notification bell. If you do that, then you're giving me um, the permission to tap into your energy, okay? So let's start your reading, beautiful Taurus friends. Um, so today, I'm going to be delivering two messages, one reading from the past and one from someone recent, okay? So uh, from someone in the past, this could be an ex-person, and um, a person you dated on and off and this is someone recent or incoming or recent active or incoming um, new person possibly for some of you okay um so you've got the wheel of fortune in reverse and the page of swords will they reach out four of wands and the king of wands um they will touch base again around the month of april okay um i don't think it would give you a lot of progress there is a short message, a brief call, a short conversation. I think it's just to check if you're fine, if you're okay. Um, you would still feel love or cared by this person, but you feel like it's not enough. Like you still, it, it's, a, it, it's a connection, it's a quick message, it's a quick call where they get you excited and they leave you guessing, Okay. Um, the reason being is possibly because this is this person, they've been, I don't know, possibly having issue with relocation for some of you. There's something, there's something imbalanced in their life. They thought of you about asking some stuff related to property or um, animal shelter for some of you. Um, they, they would call you, they would text you. And um, they would, there is, a, there's still an interest to be romantic, but I feel like they have other priorities. So, um, okay, there's a card that flew out. I'm going to take it. Yeah. So I think it's travel or moving. Okay. They're moving the travel. It's going to be fast. Okay. They, they would reach out. Definitely an ex or someone you dated on and off or ghosting. Um, you would feel that there is still a romantic vibe between the two of you and vice versa, but they can't but they cannot stay long. They need to move. They've got other priority. Okay, it's fast moving, it's fast approach, it's exciting. It makes you feel like you want more, but they could not offer you. Like this person will steal your attention will have you taste a bit of romance and flirt um but i don't think it's really promising they have to go they have to they have to do something urgent or they have to pay attention again or take over or take charge of something more important than yours or romantic they keep in moving exploring so i don't i think they have love or uh, they have interest with other people but there's no one permanent because they keep moving they keep changing their mind um okay i see this person they need to really finish their priority before they could really commit i think you've been waiting for that to happen it might take a while maybe after august month onwards if there if this person comes comes back august september october specifically then um i think they have space to really be in a serious or committed 
relationship. They might take you um, in a full commitment or they might date you. It could be an upgrade. There's a chance for you if you if this person comes back August, September, October. Um, August, September, October. And um, it it might be strong. So around the end of the year, you would be exclusive or fully commitment. Okay? But I feel like between now, April and May, um, and I think for some of you, a bit of June, it is still challenging. It's exciting, but it won't it won't stay long. That's what I'm getting. Come August, September, October, when they come back and they were consistent, then you'd go full exclusive by end of the years. I see you having a trip with this person, okay? If there's someone in here, if there's someone that they're considering really a serious commitment, it is you. But they keep moving. They they have some sort of decision and free time around they they have they will they will have this urge to date consistently or pay attention with love romantic um August, September, October. I think they will be very, I think something would ha something will happen for some of you. This person would be sick. And they would realize that it's so sad to be alone. So August, September, October, they would want to develop some sort of serious connection. And if you guys are successful and you hit it off, for some of you, you would be engaged end of the end of the year, end of the month of December. Pretty much, Jen. For some of you, um. You would be engaged or moving together quickly, cause it's been so long. Like you have, you've got history. That's why when you get back together, um, it's so quick to move to you know living in together, be in a partnership or marriage or engagement. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty interesting. Okay, now moving on. Um, so this is someone recent. Okay, you've got seven of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. For some of you, this is recent. For some of you, you started off seven weeks ago or the month of January or eight weeks ago. But this is pretty much recent or active connection. Um, you know, this person, um, initially they hesitated. Okay, this person hesitated um, and then they decided, okay, let me give it a try for my Taurus. And um, I felt like you give it a try, you give it a go, but it was overwhelming. For some of you, this person, they haven't really moved on with their past hurt, past situation. They're coming up with the three of swords. There's a possibility of mul multiple dating. Like if you look at the three of swords in here and then in here, I see this person reaching out, but you might be disappointed because... Um, it's not consistent, okay? I see them reaching out, but it might hurt you because it's not going to be consistent. Consistency is the issue with this person because of a possible third party because I feel like they have other options and they said, okay, um, let me let me try each of my options. I felt like this is the options and they will pick in their garden op option one. They'll choose you. And then they're going to put this back and they're going to try another stuff. So I feel like this person, they've got options that it distracts them from having a one-on-one -on -one get to know with somebody. Because you guys are good in chemistry, okay? I really feel like good match, good chemistry, but your person is indecisive to go even for an exclusive getting to know. It's uh, There's a lot of destruction, okay? Oops, oops, yeah. This person creates the issue. Okay, this card, okay? Because they're really a good lover, but they're distracted. They tell you something and they their action is different. So, for example, I'll call you later. I miss you, baby. I call you later, but they never call. They're good in words. They're very, I'd say this person is like a Don Romantico. It's it's a person who can, re, is good on talking, sweet talking, very romantic in terms of word, but in action, that's big down, okay? So I see them texting or calling you, but you will kind of learn that they have a pattern that, well, they kind of bring you joy and they, they, they give, they, they pump up your energy, but they also take it back, okay? 
So good luck to this because um, there's a bit of inconsistency. So just get ready, okay? If you feel like... I think it will take a while for, for this person to really change, okay? So protect yourself and um, don't fall in love. Don't fall head over heels in love with someone who... Because they're good, they're really good in words. So you might be taken away by being by them being romantic. I want you to count practicality, the actions, okay? Not just the words, the actions, quality over quantity. Action speaks louder than voice, all right? So this is you. This is your reading. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. Again, um, yeah, don't forget to click like. Don't forget to click subscribe. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon again, my friends. Bye-bye.